Uh, hello, today's video I will show you how to make this puzzle um, blanket. Uh, this is a good blanket for beginners because all the stitches are very basic and very easy. Only We only use the single crochet and the double crochet. And uh, um, here is the graph for, for the blanket. And each square represents that is six stitches and four rows. So when you want to make the blanket, you just make first make a chain with as all can be divided by six. So you can either, um, if you want to make a small one, you just uh, uh, reduce the, the quantity of the squares. So here for the sample, and I will make I will make from here to here. So that is total seven. And no, I will make eight. Make eight squares. So which means I need to make a chain for forty-eight um, stitches. So first um, use any yarn you want to do the border. Just make if I want make the uh, uh I want to make uh, eight um, squares. That means I need to make forty eight stitches. Okay, after I make 38 squares, I need to start this first um, square. I All the patterns, we read the pattern from right to left. So this is white, so I just use this white. And the stitches are pretty easy. First, uh, let's think, this is the first stitch, and then I make three chains. This count as a double crochet. So this double crochet is sit on this first stitch. So next stitch is this stitch. And a single crochet. And then next stitch, a double crochet. And a single crochet. This is four stitch, right? And a double crochet. Next, a single crochet. And we can then we look to the pattern. Next square is a yellow one. So which means next square, I six stitches represent one square. So next square, I need to change the color. When I change the color, that is, we change the stitches um, before the stitch I, the first stitch, which means when this, the sixth stitch, when we have two loops on the hook, we need to change to next color. So just use like this. At this moment, Put the this stitch, the previous uh, previous yarn at the back side. Please remember this. Always put back side. And then we pull through this two stitch with the new yarn. And the next, we need, according to the pattern, we need to make one square of yellow, which means I need to use do six stitches. So the six stitch is easy. Also is one double crochet, one single crochet, repeat three times. That is six stitches. 
uh, at this we can put the yarn here and uh, to weave in the yarns. Okay, last stitch, and we need to change the color. Uh, we change it to this. We have five um, light blue. We have five light blue squares, which means I need to total make um, 30 stitches. Right? Oh, we just put here and leave the yarn at the back. Then one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet. I need to make 30, one double crochet, one single crochet. Now it's 29 and the last stitch one single crochet, put the yarn at the back side. And then uh, here we can see we need to do a red one. So the last, for me, the last, that is the last six stitches, pull through the yarn and a double crochet, a single crochet, Double crochet, a single crochet, single crochet. So this, the first um, row is finished. And as I mentioned before, each square represents four rows. So next three rows, you just do not need to look at the pattern because all the yarns is at its position. So just turn the fabric. Uh, I usually like to do the three chains first. So this three chain is count as the double crochet of the second round. Um, you see the this the last stitch, which is now the first stitch, is a single crochet. So in this single crochet, we have three chains, which means we make a double crochet. And this, the second stitch, is a double crochet stitch. And on this stitch, we make a single crochet stitch. Then just double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet and single crochet. When you have two loops and put the loops in, always put the put the yarn at the wrong side because this is the wrong side, right? So if you cannot um, distinguish which side is right, which side is, um, is wrong side. So just put a mark on the right side, then you put the yarn on the wrong side change to change this yarn to do this okay then the first first stitch is this stitch we make a double crochet a single crochet just repeat this because here we have five we have five squares Uh, now the last stitch of this color, we have two uh, stitches on the, ho the hook, then put the yarn at the wrong side. Use this yarn to pull through the two loops and then 
this is then a double crochet a single crochet double crochet just to repeat this so pretty easy huh double crochet single crochet two loops put the yarn at the wrong side use this yarn double crochet single crochet This is double crochet. The last single crochet is on the third stitch of the chain. Just a single crochet. Okay, now we finished the two round two rows. And as we mentioned several times, that one square is four rows. So we just repeat the first row and the second row. We do not need to and do any changes about the color because the yarn is on its right position and then and turn this is the right side and this count as a double crochet and then to second stitch a single crochet a double crochet a single crochet a double crochet and a single crochet yarn back double crochet single crochet yarn back and then pull through and then just do this and I will be back when I uh, almost finished the fourth round, fourth row. Now I come to the last stitch uh, of the fourth row and we, when we check the pattern, that means we already finished once the square because every square represents four rows. And then we found that we need to use the yellow yarn and the white yarn, the square is finished. So at this moment, I need also need to change color. We just pull, because the yellow yarn is here, we just pull the yarn here. Don't um, just carry the yarn here, not so tight. Just do like this, not tight, leave it loosely, and three chains. And then at this moment, we need to cut the white yarn. Cut the white yarn because the white yarn is finished. Do the, the second square. The second square, first let's check the pattern again. We have three yellow yarn, yellow squares. So this is the double crochet. Then the next stitch is the single crochet. When we do this line, we put this yarn on the top. And also we put the yarn tail of this. We cut the white yarn right on the top and we do weave in just. A single crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet. Next is still the yellow yarn. So a double crochet, a single crochet. Double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, a single crochet. And at this moment, we check, we check the pattern. Next square is still the yellow one. And then next square is the blue one. So when we do this square, 
we need to carry this blue yarn to next square. So we do not need to change color here. But next, when we do a double crochet, we put the blue yarn on the hook to carry it. A double crochet, each stitch put yarn on the hook, go crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet. This is uh, four stitch and uh, five. Okay, last stitch, a single crochet. And then we put the yellow yarn on the wrong side and use the carry here, we here, do pull through and change the color. And here we can find that we need to uh, only do one square of blue. So we do a double crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet, a single crochet. After we here, we have finished this blue square, we need to add a purple one. So the last stitch, we pull through this, and then same, one double, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet. Uh, this is the last stitch. And then, <coughs> where is the pattern? And then we will find we need to face to another blue one. And at, I don't like to um, bob in so many uh, skins and it will make the yarn as a mess. So at this moment, I usually do a mess um, because you, we can calculate how many yarns do we need for one square. Because one square is for and four rows, six stitches, four rows. So I can just uh, use use this use this yarn to a mess. When I do six stitches, right? I just pull it off. Pull it off. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then I. After pull it off, then I just measure it. How many uh, inches is this use? So this is 12 and 3 inches. It's about 15 inches for 6 stitches. So here a square is 6 stitches 4 times. So that means I total need about 60 inches. So 60 inches uh, because I already have, so I will leave about another 45, 45 uh, inch for, for this square. So just is 12. Of course you will, uh, usually uh, we will leave a little bit more. So I leave 48 inches for to finish 
this square because I already earn um, one. So so only three, um, only three rows left. I just and cut the yarn. Uh, because if I cut the cut the yarn and then this is easy to pull off and uh, um, I do not need to bobbin so many um, so many skins and then this is as a new new one so I first put back to this one double crochet single crochet then I can still use the the same same skin use this skin because I already cut the cut the yarn for the other square so this is the new square and I can either use the skin or I can just because I can follow the pattern I can found this is only one square then I can just cut 60 I can just cut 60 um, inches for this square also I can just use this it all depends uh, if we, if you want to do six, do the math. That's sixty. Then you need to cut a little bit more. You just cut. Uh, you do not need to put a, a single yarn in the bin. Just to do this. A double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Single crochet. Okay, and then the after this blue one, we can find we need to the red one. And for this red one, we do not need to add a new yarn because this also is the red one. So we just pull the yarn here, carry the yarn here loosely and pull through. Then do a double crochet. Leave the, this yarn on top of the hook. Then we can weave in this. Double crochet, a single crochet, and the next is also the um, the red yarn. Double crochet. Okay, last stitch is a single crochet, and then three chains, and uh, I will turn the bean and make the yarn like this way and I turn the fabric then do the second round the second round you just do like this third and fourth and I will be back for the fourth uh, and here is a uh, small tips about changing colors you see when I do the last um, stitch of this color I pull back the uh, previous yarn and use this yarn right when I pull through and the next when we I do this next stitch I should, that should be a double crochet right 
if I do a double crochet when I insert to the stitch, if I can pick up this this yarn, carry on, this yarn is come up, right? If I can pick up this loop together with the stitch, then the back, the wrong side will look better. Uh, otherwise, there will be a small line here. So you can pick up this loop together with the stitch and this looks better. Uh, now I finished the second uh, row of the squares. I finished the fourth rows. So the when you this you just check you check the third square is a green. So I use a green add need to add the green color. So last last stitch of this this one i just add the green color and then three chains and turn the fabric turn the fabric when we turn the fabric because we still needed to use the yellow yarn at this i'm sorry uh, at this square so we need to carry the yellow yarn to the right place when we do this green squares. So second, this stitch is a single crochet, then a double crochet. When we do this six stitches, put these two yarns, the yarn tail and the yellow yarn. Yeah. Okay, leave the yarn at the back and the yellow yarn to pull through and then start the yellow part. A double crochet, single crochet. A double crochet, a single crochet, a double crochet. That's a single crochet. Then we need to change another color, and we can check the pattern. At this moment, we need a green color again, and but when we um go to the next uh, um, square, there's all the greens. So this green, we only need to bobbing a uh, one square yarns. So as um, I checked for my yarn and for, um, for me, I need around 60, uh, 60 inches. And also, after this, we can check, this is the yarn I left, and this blue square is already finished. I leave this, that's good, it means. And for this, I leave 60 um, inch, but I left such a long tail. So, which means then I can check, then I maybe I can um, have, have six inch less so i this time i will bobbing a 55 inches yarn to make the to make this green square and because now for, for next round i will use this green yarn all together so just adjust the bobbing yarns according to to your um, previous experience and then you just do um, like this please remember the stitches is pretty easy that is one double crochet and one single crochet and the double crochet crocheted in the si single crochet of last row and the single crochet is on the 
double crochet stitch so single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet just do this and when second thing you need to be careful is when you change the color you just put the color in the wrong side put it at the back then change the color and the change the color is one stitch before this so when the last stitch has two loops on the hook then change the color this is second thing and the third thing is when you do the uh, wrong side and that is a small step, uh, tip you can just pick up this this row but for the wrong uh, for the right side you do not need to do this and for the wrong side if you want you just pick up the loop and together for the first stitch and you crochet it together and it looks more neat so just to do this and uh, follow the patterns color and to finish the bracket thank you